huh? They say what? No, he said they live. It'll be like 200, 250. Where's his head at on the other side? What's the number on that one? What's the number? It don't have you see the number on it? they decided to build the church. So they destroyed this small house, which was used as a market. Then they built a church. From 1874 until in 1880, the church was made complete. Mm. So missionaries appointed a specialist known as a Bishop Edward Steer to be as a supervisor of this church. From 1874 until in 1880, the church was been complete. But the Bishop was there here after a heart attack. And they buried behind of the high altar inside the church. Mm -hmm. So the, the graveyard buried in a behind of the a graveyard, but it is language because the bishop one time he was translated the dictionary from English to Swahili. Mm -hmm. So by the way, we have another. Uh, what's your step? Uh, your step, please. And that is the uh, sculpture made with a lady from Sweden. Her name was Clara Sornas. That lady visited in Tanzania to make a research about the slave trade in East Africa. After the end of research, she went to Bagamoyo near to Dar es Salaam. She made this. After that, she bringing here just to show how the slave trade it was in East Africa. And the chain, as you see, is a, a kind of the chain which was used at that time. Uh, she sponsors a different company, including Tanzania Cigarette Company and the Swedish Fund. And you can see the view of the church. It's very close to the minaret of Islamic mosque. That shows you each one has his own way of belief yeah. to have a freedom of worship. Mm -hmm.